The Star Flyer is a fairground ride which operates at 60 meters above the ground. As it begins to spin, the chairs in which the riders sit move outwards, as we can see in the diagram. Consider the chair and the rider as a single object. By drawing a free body force diagram and considering the forces acting, explain the following observations. The angle to the vertical of the supporting ropes depends on the speed of rotation, but does not depend on the mass of the rider. All right, so let's start with our diagram. Here is our chair and rider. There is a tension force going towards the top right, that's T, and there is a weight force going downwards, let's call that Mg. We're considering the angle to the vertical, so I'll draw a line like this. This is, let's say, theta. So in a scenario like this, where you have an object moving in a horizontal circle like this, and we have one of the forces at an angle, like we see here, the tension force, or specifically the horizontal component of that tension force, will supply the centripetal force. So if I draw a line across like this, this is 90 degrees, this will be T sine theta, this will be T cos theta, using Sokotoa. I'll just move that T to over here to make it clearer. So T cos theta acts upwards, that's the vertical component of tension, T sine theta acts towards the right, which is the horizontal component of tension. So T sine theta is equal to mv squared over r. Again, that's the centripetal force. I'll call that equation one. And T cos theta, which is the vertical component of tension, that will equal to the weight. The resultant force is towards the center of the circle, and that's the case whenever moving in a circle at constant speed resultant force is towards the center of the circle, that means the resultant force vertically should be zero. And if that's the case, the vertical component of tension will equal to weight. Now, what we can do here is we can divide the two equations by each other. So if you do all of equation one, all over equation two, so the left-hand side becomes T sine theta over T cos theta, and the right-hand side becomes mv squared over r over mg. The left-hand side, the t's cancel, sine over cos is tan. The right-hand side will simplify to make v squared over rg. And so what we see from this is that the angle to the vertical depends on the speed, but not mass. We can see that in the equation. Looking at the text in italics, the angle to vertical depends on the speed of rotation, but does not depend on the mass of the rider. We have shown that from this equation here. And then just have a brief conclusion to finish off. And that will be it.